Well, I'm just doing a quick video on things that just don't come out right. Um, these are electrochromatic mirrors I got from a customer. And I'm in kind of a trouble because they bought these mirrors. And, uh, of course, these uh, Audis, they, uh, unless you look at my webpage where I explain you have to do measurements on both sides. Um, as he gave me two mirrors here. And basically, he, he ordered, you know what, the company that sold it to him, the glass replacements, fit over mirrors, um, he, the company's wrong, okay? And it's not the fault, really, of either if these mirrors came from China, which they probably did. Um, he glued them. He glued them onto the old mirror. Now, again, we keep saying you got to apply heat. And uh, heat is your uh, friend. So I don't know what he put in there. If they were these circle tabs that they sell. I'm trying to save these mirrors because they are, I think, a pattern for a part number 443 that I have in my catalog. And I'd like to match it up. Okay, yep. He used the stupid circle mirrors. And there goes my, there goes the mirror that I could have saved. Um, screw it, doesn't matter. Um... Use the circle mirrors. These and those circles would have lasted probably. Um, they would have lasted maybe. Um, I don't know a year, and then they would have broken down. Um, I'm just trying to show if I can. If you notice, it would have, if I, I'm not going to bother with taking the circles off when I make these mirrors because I think I know I already have the part number. But if you notice, if you push against the mirror, you're going to see how it discolored. Okay, and it's no longer reflective. Uh, that is a self-dimming mirror, and the liquid inside of this mirror. Now, the liquid is actually oozing out right here in the corner. Okay, and it's two pieces of glass, these uh, electrochromatic self-dimming mirrors. They got a clear piece of glass on the outside and the mirror on the inside. Um, but you can't really use this mirror on the inside because it fails and it's distorted and you'll never be able to get it so that it's not distorted. Took the other mirror off and funny enough, the circle tabs didn't even stick to the mirror. Okay, this, it only stuck right here. And the reason for that basically is because the, uh, the, you know, the, you have to clean the surface of these mirrors because uh, the liquid does ooze out. As you see, the electrochromatic setting is pretty messed up on this. You can't even, it's all blurry and stuff. Now the wiring, these are heated mirrors as well, okay? Um, if you notice, there's a wire that goes in the back of this mirror and then comes around this way into the mirror. It circles the outer edge of the element and it is heated. So you don't want to get rid of these frames. You do want to make the glass that fits perfectly in between the frame lip there. Now I'm going to see if I have the pattern. I think I do. Okay, now I found the uh, part number was my uh, 241 F is in Frank, which is a fit of a mirror. Or rather, I'm sorry. Okay, I found that the mirrors were 242 and a 1904 F meaning fit over uh, so basically when you do a fit over mirror again we have the heating element in the back so we want that heating element to function um, this guy's frame is a little broken so what I'm going to do is put a dab of glue on the inside here um, it's not uncommon for this mirror to fry like that because like I say when you're dealing with um, the heating element, uh, that wire that goes through it sometimes will uh, will break the you know the plastic or snap the plastic a little bit. No big deal. We throw a little silicone on the back. Now it's just a, it's not going to hold right there because I'm going to have to tape it down. All right, so we flip the mirror over, and as you notice, it's all distorted. Now what we want to do is create a silicone pad. Now you take the silicone for that we offer on the line, and what you're going to do is dot it half inch from the edge we don't want it oozing out the frame lip and you pretty much do the same thing we're not Picasso here I say pretty much do it like the measles um, or chicken pox whatever uh, whatever to shoot your boat uh, we're not doing anything like uh, what the heck's the name of that disease <laughs> that you get after the chicken pox and you get older like me 
All right, so we're basically dotting it, like I say. Now, when we take the mirror, you're going to place it over. Okay? And it's going to fit in between the frame lip, as so. Now, what we need to do, after that's done, well, if it's on the car, you know, that's cool. If it's on the car. If you do this while in the car, you don't really need to, to do this, but we do use electrical. We do use this uh, this special tape, which is nothing more than painter's tape, basically. Now, what I'm going to do, because, that, like I say, that mirror uh, broke a little bit, the frame lip. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut across it like that. And I'm going to put a little pressure on it and shoot it like that. Now, we're going to straighten it out a little bit. Okay, now we got pretty much a mirror that's that's fitting this frame. All right, so we got that one done, and that's how you glue a self-dimming mirror fit over, which will look pretty neat. What we do with our mirrors is we bevel the edge a little bit. I don't know if I could show you what it is. We do bevel the edge a little bit, so it gives us a finished look. Um, using the uh, carbide belt sander. All right, so that's how you glue a self-dimming mirror on any car that has uh, self-dimming failure, and we sell the mirrors online at www.auto-glass.com and the Internet Glass Network. Okay, well, guys, have a nice day, and uh, do me a favor, subscribe. We need, we need 100 subscriptions. So just put your email address. We promise not to whack you with any crazy uh, emails or any kind of promotions. We are a need, not a want. You need a mirror. You don't want it. Okay, so have a great day, and uh, you have a good day.